Hi y'all, this is Misty with How Creative Creations and I'm here today to tell you how I made this stick pen, this fan form stick pen. Because I did not have a pattern for this. And, I mean, I hand draw all my patterns, but I thought I would show you today how I actually did that. You can see on my phone, I have a picture of a sculpture of the sandworm from Beetlejuice. And so, you know, I'm just kind of sketching that out. And see, there's some some erasing and some, yeah. I mean, you can't draw it perfect the first time every time, no matter what kind of artist you are. So, I traced it out, cutting it out. And this is just some regular weight printer paper. And then I cut it out and I trace that onto cardstock. So I have a thicker pattern that lasts longer than just printer paper. And I poke through both layers with a pencil to mark the eye placement. Then I trace it back out with a Sharpie. I repoke this hole and lay it down so it's not a smooth place to mark where the eyeball placement goes. And then I label it. And I draw any other marks that need to be drawn, like mouse. And that's just a suggestion. Doesn't have to be. And I cut it back out. Careful to use paper scissors, not my good sewing scissors on paper or cardstock. As you can see, my little mess of hand tools right there. I've got, I can count three just there. And then I go over the ironing board. I don't have a fancy fancy sewing studio. I wish I did. That is one of my goals eventually is to have brick and mortar space where I can have retail space and sewing space and everything else with big fancy cutting table like some of the people you see on YouTube. But it's not in the cards for now. So y'all go buy more stick ponies so I can afford to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to mark the eyes and I mark it on both sides so that I get the embroidery placement right. And then we go to the embroidery. Yeah, I'm showing you every step today. But I am speeding everything up just a little bit. Most of it is one and a half to two times speed. This I actually did four times speed because it takes 15 minutes per eyeball with this pattern to border it. I didn't think y'all wanted to sit here and I only showed the embroidery of one eyeball. This one, it is a four color eyeball and it's perfectly round. I chose not to do different, well, I did different colors. I did the lighter red on the outside, a darker red on the inside, the black, and then the white. Normally, this pattern, it's white on the outside and then the iris, then the black people, and then the white light dot. I chose to do it a little different. I think it made the sandworm better. I stitched this out and when it comes to doing eyeballs eyes for creatures, no matter what the creature, it literally depends on what colors you choose. And that's what makes the animal's personality. No matter what, I can make the same stick pony I have the same fabric, same pattern, four times. If I choose different eye colors, same eye pattern, but four different eye patterns, that's where the personality comes. So, and even doing that, even if I did them all exactly the same, which I have done production, multiples in production before, like carbon copies. But, uh, they still come out different. So that's why I can honestly say each one of my stick ponies is unkind. Because even if I copy another one, it's different. If I go to make the sandworm again, it's not going to look the exact same. It really isn't. <laughs> I try, but it doesn't. So... Now we're stitching the darker red, and you can see my silver mark from where I traced out 
It's right in the center of that. I found that's the best way to make my placement is to do it like that. Uh, y'all, I'm in a spot. I kind of want to know what y'all want to see. Do y'all want to see the full videos with all the steps like this one? Do y'all want to see it truncated? Do y'all want to see what kind of stick pony do y'all want to see? Y'all tell me what y'all want in the comments below. I'm happy to help to show you what I've got, what I do. I'd be more than happy to do a video of whatever you want. Or do a sick pony. If you can come up with a unique idea, this was Ethan's idea. To do this stand worm. Y'all got an idea for a creature on a stick? Now let me know. I'll see if I can do it. Maybe it's a challenge. You know, if you know me, you challenge me. That's it. <laughs> hard headed stubborn Texas woman don't challenge me because it's going to happen gotta change out the colors put the white in do white of the eye which is real quick I bounce around a little bit too much. Lord have mercy. I'll have to remember that next time. Uh, also, guys, I uh, also take these videos after I'm done. And I go through them again. And I make them even shorter and quicker. Like down to a minute. And I put them on TikTok. Yes, I have TikTok. I have fun on TikTok. It's not all this. I do have some jokes. Some comedy, if you want to call it that. I, I just... <laughs> Ethan gets frustrated. He's been on TikTok forever. Since it was musically. I've been on it since February. I've gone viral. I have more followers. I have more likes. I have more video views. And he's just frustrated. <laughs> I'm in the process of my second video going viral <laughs> today. I put it up yesterday. I found a sound about George Carlin talking about immune system. And I got there. I put one of my mask on. I put the gloves on. did the hand sanitizer. And I was like, whoa, with what he's saying. Because he's talking about the immune system has to practice. Oh, here I went. I went and pinned it down. So it's all lined up. And I cut it out. Here I'm cutting out the fin. And I cut the fin out in this sparkly black fabric. And then I went back. I ended up doing it in, so in flat black. So I didn't like the sparkly. So. Yes, I cut the fin out twice and only put one fin on. I know. And I quickly just stitched it up. Stitch, stitch, stitch. That was weird. He came in right back out. Over on TikTok, sometimes I'm taking the pins out and I'm going to line everything back up. And so the, for the pin, pin the fin, I'm going to pin the fin, I'm going to pin the fin on and line everything back up so I can sew that side. Now pay real, atten real close attention here. You're going to notice something and I'm going to point it out. But it's something I think is important. See, I lined everything up and pinned it. And no, I did not match up the patterns. I did not match up. 
Yeah, life's too short for that mess. I spend an, over an hour making these things. Okay, see, I'm stitching it. I take the pins out sometimes. Oh, look, look, look. I'm stitching it a second time. I go over all my stick ponies. I stitch them twice. Now, you may think that's a little bit overkill. But, I stitch them twice because kids are playing with these. Kids are tough on stuff. So, I stitch everything twice. And, yes, it pulls just a little bit. That's no big deal. That actually helps with the curving at the, when I stuff it. So I don't worry so much about it. Stitchy, stitchy, stitchy. And um, you notice I really don't do seam allowances on stick ponies. I kind of just follow the edge. I always put my needle in the middle. And... Oh, excuse me. I put my needle in the middle and I just use the edge of the presser foot. It's about a quarter inch, I think. I'm not big on it. Okay, I folded the edge down to make a casing. In the casing, I put a zip tie. It's the only plastic in all of my stick pony. The stick's wood, the ball on the end of the wood, I have the stick is wood. The stuffing, well, it's polyester, that's pretty much plastic, but I use cotton and felt. And snip in the curve. On this one, it's not as big of a deal, but on the big ones, uh, like the dragons and the ponies and those that have real sharp brow. On the dragons and ponies and you know with almost a right angle right there at the neck it is really important to clip those but this one's got a gentle curve really didn't I just do this how did I end up with this in there twice I'm sorry, guys. Heck, I'm somewhere meowing. Yeah, usually I'm the one that brings in the new cats in the house. And, and John's usually furious about it. Last weekend, last Saturday, Friday... I'm sitting over here working on the video for if I do a week or so out. I'm sitting here. It's raining outside. John comes in. Which is still a kitten that had been outside for a couple of days. He says it's raining and she followed me. Well, her name is now Gizmo. She's the cutest little hot mess you've ever seen. She is feisty and sweet at the same time, and she's been in the house for a week. Okay, so you see me stuffing it now. I'm feeding. Okay, so. You see me stuffing it now. I'm feeding the zip tie into the casing. Sorry. My screen went dark. I hit the space button to make the screen go light again so I could see what I'm doing. And it stopped my pot, stopped my recording and just, it screwed me all kinds of. Anyways. So I'm stuffing it. And if you notice, I'm stuffing it pretty solidly. And then I make a little hole in the stuffing. 
for the stick and then I pull it really really tight and y'all I really do pull this tight and wrestle with it to get it as tight as possible that head doesn't really move a whole lot on its own on the stick and then which I don't see on camera is I go back and I glue it on so it's really solidly on there now this is what I'm doing his mouth and I'm just freehanding it see a little curve up because I think you need a little smile don't, don't want to scare the kids right anyways that was my first cut I tried on this on a sandworm his mouth is too big No, I don't have coronavirus. I have a dry throat and allergies, guys. Go into the Walmart. Some little lady with perfume walk by. I start coughing and I, everybody looks at me like I've got corona. I don't. No fever. No other signs. I can taste everything. I can smell everything. Just cough. Of course. I picked up a bad habit years ago, and I quit that bad habit a year ago, a year and three weeks now. I quit a bad habit. I quit smoking. So, of course, I cough. I'll have to see Marie that mess. I just cough. Residual. So, don't start smoking. And if you do smoke, quit. I went cold turkey, y'all. Of course, I fell in the yard and broke my leg. And I didn't get up and get outside to smoke. But it stuck. Careful. You gotta be careful. But just quit. Seriously. Now, I'm getting needle and thread and getting that all together. Separating it out. And I'm just going to stitch this on with a blank stitch. See, I hit my knot. I'm going to stitch it. And I do a blanket stitch different than others. I don't know if y'all saw the, the egg video. But when I do this and I come back through, it actually makes a knot on every stitch. Some people do their blanket stitch this way. So I'm actually, I've never seen anybody do it like I do it. But, like in most things, I'm self-taught. My Nana taught me some things. My Mama taught me a few things. My homemaker taught a couple of things. But in most things, I've taught myself. I taught myself how to knit, y'all. When Ethan was a baby, I taught myself how to knit because I was bored. He was, we were military at the time, and he was a real sickly baby. And they sent us to Walter B. from Germany. See, I can see one TikTok while I'm saying. I believe that's Officer Udi in the background there. I like Officer Udi. Funny. Anyways, I taught myself how to knit while sitting in a hotel room for three months with Ethan. With doctor visits at Walter Reed trying to figure out why he was such a little guy. Oh, back to my book. That's a lot of times. I listen to a lot of books while I'm sewing. Um, I don't have time to just sit down with a book all the time. And so a lot of times I listen to books on Audible. I love that app. If I ever get big enough and they sponsor me, I'd be tickled pink. But I don't have any sponsors. I'm my own sponsor. Y'all like this video so I can get sponsored. I'm not that. I'm not one of those people. If y'all like it, like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like my stick ponies, you want one. If you don't, don't. I don't. I'm doing this for fun. I make stick ponies. Yes, that is my business. And felt food and other things. Yes, I do it for fun. Look, there he is. I'll finish. I'll finish. I'm done. Isn't he cute? Oh, Ethan showed my tag. Ethan does a lot of my videography. And there he's done.
Folks, all the information, social media, everything's in the comments down below. Like, follow if you want. Y'all have a good day.